It takes 20 paces before the air around us ripples, then starts holding, uh, folding into itself. Thick smoke pours over us, stinging like scorpions at my eyes. I cover my mouth with my free arm to keep breathing, and soon we're at the fire itself. The bridge lurch beneath us as if it beams uh, supporting it. Uh, it Supporting it are starting to give away to the thousands of flying sparks. Lou stumbles and pulls against me for support, but we keep our ground. I start pulling him through the blaze. We don't have time to gather our bearings. Who knows how long we have until the bridge collapses or is devoured by flames. As we push through the smoke, Lou wheezes from breath, uh, from breath beside me. Figures emerge the million market. Chunk of the bridge near Rebellion's advantage, collapsing through the water in its place are Nixie trying to crawl the way up. Billy's back, backing away from them, but that's only pushing him closer to the other bridge. I check on Margaret again, she's on her feet, heading over to me, but she's standing now and she has a lantern to keep those monsters at bay. I leave her running to get my light to Millie. The Millie stopped in the perfect center of the bridge, unable to move, unable now to move forward or back. Instead, he turns to me face painted in a way I've never seen from him. All he can do is wait for me to come and hope it's soon enough. But as I approach, so does a Nyx. Nyx, a Nyx larger than I knew they could be, pulls itself halfway out of the water, reaching for, for Mimili. And it grabs him and latches his arm around his torso, but Mimili lets out an agonized scream, and Nyx claws anchoring into his flesh, and the creature lets itself fall into the lake. Using its body weight to take Mimili with it, I run faster, reaching my arm, my lantern, out to it, out to them. Mimili doesn't reach back. He just looks at me. Oops. He falls back into the lid. Nix is way too much for him to resist. After a moment, the water stills there's a sign. I stop painting, still feet away from the he fell. Tears by my eyes. He stares back at the ground and says, I have to be so terrible at this. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to remember? I mean, if I killed someone, or went out here and someone died in front of me, and I couldn't get it out of my head. Somewhere in me, I would be like, okay, there has to be some point of goddamn reason for this. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to go insane. So let's try to make some some shit come out of it. Something. Whether that be just a change of mind, personality, like now heavy change personality. You get what I mean. Changing shit in your life. And always remember the person, honor the person, all that shebang. So like, don't, what? The middle rings through my mind and one ear to another is where it's stir all sorts of baffling jumping out of emotions. Without looking up, Lou shakes his See, head. You shouldn't waste your sympathies on someone like me. You should have left me to die. It's like a shot, my anger flares up. Together. I didn't leave you behind before and I'm not going to do so now. The best thing you can do to help is put those kinds of thoughts in the back of your mind. Or what? I won't make it to the other side? <laughs> you gotta remember, this guy doesn't want to live. Lou laughs bitterly, his smile's almost cruel. If I thought joining you was a way to stay alive, I would have acted much differently. The only reason I came along is because I thought it might be nice to not die alone and forgotten. My words sputter and die on my tongue. Lou continues his speech, his speech ignore my reaction. I really didn't know what he was saying before. I asked him if I could go out on the bridges in the past. He told me not to. Said I couldn't handle it. I'm not sorry for ignoring the warning. This was something I had to do. This was my only chance to prove I'm not worthless. Or to finally accept that I was once and for all. And we know what the truth is. Stop. I can only keep out of listening to him speak. It doesn't have to be this way. You said yourself that it isn't over until it's completely over. There's still a possibility that... No, there isn't. You're alive right now, it's in there. My blood pounds in my veins. I take away a place with my hands on his tight uh, on his tightly wrapped upper arms. I don't know what has happened to you, but if there's something you need to do, you can try again tomorrow night. You don't need to give up. You have value. Nicholas his eyes again and smiles at himself. I maintain my grip on him, waiting for his response. Alright. I'll try to stay alive if you'll do something for me. What is it? Don't put yourself in danger for my sake anymore. My fingers curl harder on his arms, wishing I could argue further, but I don't know what is going on in his head, and I might push him back into giving up. I don't have the luxury of trying to reach for him a second time. I realize I'm gonna take a step Fine. back. I'll accept those terms. Good. Now you might survive. You need to survive too. He laughs. It goes without saying. 
Lou smil uh, smiles teasingly, his attitude is still difficult for me to grasp, but I attempt to smile in return. Well, he's always cared. Sure, we'll and say it though. I don't want anything to happen to anyone else. That is admirable. Lou says nothing, however, I do feel my words have reached him, which is true. I wish he would let him, uh, let me help him, but I cannot find the way to do so. You can, well, people will only let in a certain amount of shit when you're that way. When it hurts to let people in, well, it doesn't hurt, but it, it feels like it'll hurt. Or it seems like it would, you don't do it. Um, I can only trust that he will do his best to take care of himself now. It's better than him planning to let it in. I sigh wearily and yet somehow feel as though my resolve has been strengthened, at I'm least for now. Out. I want to see how everything is on the island. Hopefully Margaret can survive and she'll be fine by herself. I'll make it easier by coming along. Then you won't ever have to check on me. This time I am able to that smile easily. Good. Yeah. Happy to help. Alright, so I don't think we got the same thing. We're getting an entirely different thing, obviously. So we're not getting a love situation because I don't think there is one with him. Yeah, no, there isn't. We're just sort of, you know, he needs the help entire, like, mental, like, not mental. Well, yeah, mental, but in general, he needs a friend more than anything right now. So we're being heavily that for him. Um, Margaret, I remember her mental breakdown was she felt powerless and stuff. So hopefully she doesn't become like he was because this play, uh, being out here will make you lose your mind. I think the guide will be, the guide will be completely fine. That's not going to be an issue. Um, it definitely is going to come down. To what I'm thinking of, uh, where it's gonna be. Now the problem here is we have us three, and Lou has already told us he does that we're not that we can't do anything to protect him. So next time around, this next area is gonna be entirely different for two reasons: one, Bemelli won't try to pick him up, and two, if we come to that bridge again and we have to cross and we have to do something crazy to cross, he's gonna cross. By without even asking and he might die without even asking so we might get around the same ending but it's gonna be a little different he rather moves behind, behind, beside me and together we move out yeah so we don't get the whole relationship thing that happened with margaret instead so i'm doing this this time oh this story i hate it i, I don't know why like i said i want the three musketeer ending if a dev is watching please tell me there's a three musketeer ending where all three of them live if there isn't tell me because i'm gonna literally probably be on here for hours trying to get that shit happen eventually <laughs> through a thinner stand of trees we briefly catch the sight of the guy standing on one of the beaches he's fine yeah even though i'm sure he turned his head towards me he makes no show no show of acknowledging us we move on and eventually find margaret and jacket clearing Margaret begrud begrudgingly lifts her head as we approach, enabling me to see that her face is damp and tear-stained. While her eyes are red and puffy, she's been crying. I shift between my in between. something the matter? Will you at least talk? Margaret's glance moves up, moves the loo. She laughs without are humor. Are you keeping an eye on the rest of us to make sure we don't get into trouble? That's not it. Anything could happen, so it is good to stay alert even in daylight. Lou is here because he was also concerned. Well, that's nice. Okay, she speaks somewhat curtly, but at least she's no longer seems to be Does seems this mean depressed. You don't have something to say. Margaret shakes her I'm head. Happy to report that everything's in order on this front. <laughs> on the front of the island, not inside of you. The hell. Glad. It's, uh, it's, I can read that, and she does too. That's why she's looking over to the side, like ah, uh -huh, sure. That's why both of us are looking to the side. Margaret and I were like, uh, Margaret's like, yeah, of course, the island's fine. I'm like, um. Yeah, no shit. It's an island. Um, I think we would have noticed when we were walking over to you. Uh, I, I think we're talking about the fact that you got, uh, you know, you've been crying. Of course, I cannot fully believe that. Margaret isn't saying what's actually on her mind, but I have no way to truly reach her. We can, but we don't need Lou here with us. Is that everything? I suppose it is. My words come out slowly and hesitantly as though she might change her mind if I bide my time. I want to do more, but I cannot think of what else I could do then for her. Then goodbye. God damn, why you gotta be so painful with it? Oh, that hurt. If anything, we will be close by. Yes, thank you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. God damn, why? I, I love her too much, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna save this. I wanna see if she says anything new, alright? We gotta see that first, alright? You know, that makes logical sense. We gotta we gotta see if, if anything is different. For a trip of Don't worry about me. You won't 
No. I wonder when the I'm concerned. All right, we gotta see if anything's different, because obviously they can change so much here. Sunsets, I will be in this area. All right, we're gonna skip. All right, I have to see Margaret. I'm not gonna do that. I need to be alone till the very end. Uh, Luca T is walking away from me, but I do catch him flinch at the stack at this at the statement. I assume that he heard me, though he decided it was best not to acknowledge it. I look away from him as he retreats. Lingering for only a moment, I, st I start following the trail Margaret took. And it only makes logical sense that you would continue to talk with Lou, because you you're already in a conversation. It sounds so wrong for you to just leave him. I catch her Margaret and I notice the eyes are glistening in her eyes. Is this the same? What do you want? I was worried. Well, there certainly is a lot to be worried about. I thought she does not appreciate my concern. Uh, okay. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive through the next night. So. That's not the problem. Maya sits atop a large mass of roots and covers her face with hands. Ooh, maybe. Well, no, Lou will probably die still. But maybe <laughs> if we, uh, after all the way in there, in the middle of there, if Lou leaves, or something like that, that actually might keep everybody everybody alive. But Millie will end up, you know, staying alive. So like before, a couple times when Lou wants to break off, it definitely would keep everybody alive. Uh, in our group at least. And it, I don't know if it would bring the same sadness to the group, but it damn well would probably do it. Um, but I don't know. I, th I feel like the morale wouldn't be as bad because it's like, it's different when you try something, at least try, and there's another point when you don't try at all. When you don't even try, it's, you know, it's a, it hurts a lot more. But let's say, like, we tried, he pulled away, and instead of us, like, doing where we basically forced them to go, uh, the second time around, we just said, uh, well, we didn't answer. It would obviously keep us alive, but Millie and them, and we might even catch up with them. Um, but then again, then we'll be alone, which is our lantern, and we could also die like that. So I don't know. That's another thing to go back and check. So many choices and options. I really need to just get like a pen and paper, write down all of them, and try to figure out which way I could try to get a best ending. I step over to Neil and Dallin so that uh, we can be at eye level again. Margaret? She twisted by the No, I will not leave you. Okay, Do this you is. Even know why I came out here? Yeah, this is the same. Then surely you. Yes. I originally sought this path not because I wished to protect others. I don't blame you. If I... the settlement I come from, my own, even if there are, so what am I supposed to? Do? Leaving there would. Oh. All right, next is a new beside her. No, I was tired of. It. Are you? Yes. Alright, yeah, all this is the same. I haven't you don't have to be a guide. When Sorry, I'm fucking with the water bottle. Thirsty as shit, and I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to also let it go by. <laughs> trying to see if anything's different. But if I did have to choose between returning to the normal world or staying here, I'd rather go back home. Oh, damn well. You're damn right. Let's get a shot of the community. Thank you right. for sharing this with me. Thank you for listening. You have an unexpectedly soft heart. She must have noticed a slight twinge in my face. That isn't a bad thing, Kika. I look away eyes towards the ground. It can hurt to care, but it also lets you lessen the pain of others. I think it would be much better if everyone cared a little bit more, rather than less. Which is why I feel like doing having the conversation with Lou is a lot better. But we're gonna see real quick if we all head over to Lou because Lou doesn't like talking in front of most people which makes sense That's just when you're in that nature. You barely open up to one fucking person two people's goddamn <laughs> Whew, That ain't happening. So maybe 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 we can see if it works We'll see what happens when we head over to Lou because you know, we're gonna walk around the whole goddamn area Like we're gonna do the same thing. I feel tears for me. My now is I smile Thank back at Margaret Margaret returns my look. I take on a seat rope beside. We sit for one another. Da da da. Eventually, I return Perhaps towards her. go check how everything is on the island. Margaret nods. Seems like a fair thing to do. I'm gonna do this sitting here forever because I goddamn can't. Are you sure you'll be all right without your glasses? There are a lot of places to catch your foot or dress on. 
Margaret laughs slightly. I'm sure I'll be fine. Offer her my arm. She sighs softly and she <laughs> chides at me. <laughs> really? You are too much. She then accepts. Together we head towards the interior of the island. Margaret and I head through the wooded part of the, of the island. There isn't anything that can be called a path, but we managed to pick our way through the, uh, the brush quite well. Now, that, that decision right there is the big one that I think decides with Bamele or not. Because if you flirt with Bamele beforehand, that, you know, just fucks with both their heads. So that's, that might impact it a little bit. And I feel like if you only have, like, only flirt with Margaret or only flirt with Bamele, you'll get certain endings. Even if you do, like, what I was doing. Where you do, uh, you don't do the boy and you go through all that. Through a thinner stand of trees, we briefly catch sight of the guide standing on one of the, of the beaches. He seems fine, but not, uh, but even though I'm sure he turned his head to it, okay, same thing. This is Lou. We scour the area for Lou. It doesn't take us long to find him. He appears to be alright, though still strange. I calmly greet him as Hello. we approach. Is everything alright here? He turns tw towards us and blinks like he's w <laughs> waking from a sleep. It seems as though he didn't even notice until now. He looks away from w uh, for once more and smiles bitterly to himself. Everything's pretty much how I expected. Make of that what you will. God damn it! Don't get you. Don't give me those <laughs> goddamn half fades or questions that I give people <laughs> that are like illusions. <laughs> They're like a mystery in and it of itself. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I found it his response, but I try not to let him bother too much. This, this simply to uh, let Lou be At Lou's least it way. Worse than you expected. Lou doesn't respond to Margaret. I didn't. Uh, I decided to change the subject. Maybe for this. Are you this. ready to eat, Lou? Lou pauses for a moment to consider okay. this. If you leave something for me, I'll eat it soon. Oh, he's eating at least. Margaret, are you getting jealous? The hell, are you are you getting jealous over there? Are you looking away like. Mm. I thought she was gonna give me some food. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> um, so actually, this might be a good good turn of events because this is a lot better than it was with Margaret. Lou holding himself up pretty good, pretty pretty decent. I I thought he'd be a lot worse, a lot worse. Um, he answered pretty much the way I would when I was in this situation. Uh, and I still answered pretty much like this too. It's a goddamn riddle in and of itself. Yeah, make of it like you would, uh, 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 pretty much. Why do we have to leave? I, I lose suspiciously, he chuckles. I don't need you two to stand and watch me. I'd feel more comfortable eating alone. I have to agree with Kika. You refused to eat before, and now you claim you'll only eat if no one else is around to see it happen? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to see any rations go to waste, my man. You know, we only have, uh, like, a few of those. Mm. If that's the case, I'll just say I won't eat again. Then there will be nothing to be suspicious over. God damn it, Lou. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. All right, we can since all right, we're going to do one full playthrough and then we'll go back and redo everything. I like this in oh, this more than the other one cuz at least he's eating. Both of us sigh exasperated from her, from his dismissive attitude. Lou snickers himself. I take no relief in the fact that some that someone is hiding this in this Either music. Way, we shouldn't well, finding this in music. Anymore. We've all had enough time to ourselves to think. Now we should focus on staying safe and being prepared for the coming night. Yes. Lou bites his lip, hunching his shoulders up to his neck. His eyes. Margaret sorely. It might be an intimidating look for uh, if it was from someone else, as it is. Lou looks thoroughly annoyed, child. I'm not interested. There's something I'm still not finished with. We could come with you. He's gonna say no. He's gonna say no because there's because we're both because I'm offering both of us. Lou tries to duck further into his own body. He's clearly wishing he could stop being the center of attention. Mark huffs, losing even more of her already thin patience over Lou's lack of maturity on this matter. Will you come back to find us once you're finished with your mystery task? You can find me later, if you like. You don't need to be so worried. I wouldn't be so worried if you weren't... Well, well okay. That's not the word. If you cared about your own well-being, I wouldn't be so goddamn worried. It's the fact that you don't. 
is what scared me because I'm it's coming to the point I'm like he's he's just gonna walk off into the lake he's gonna be like you know what let's I'm a swim I feel like it's a good day to have a swim what the hell bro you saw them come out to oh I forgot and then boy did Mark and I exchanged glances with one another. She almost seems guilty now. Perhaps she reevaluated re re the situation. Feels this might be unnecessarily demanding. Margaret is looking for me, looking to me for an answer. I, I, uh, uh, we won't leave. Lou scrunches his eyes almost shut, but I can still detect his slivered stare boring into an unfortunate patch of the ground. Despite his calm surface, I could feel the term, term. Termaltis emotions churning deep beneath. Oh, my fan just, just, ooh, that felt good. It just went like cold. Oh, I hate upsetting him like this, but our lives are on the line. It would be reckless to gamble leaving him simply because he would prefer being alone. It's like an introvert in like a, su <laughs> not a suicide situation, in like a murder situation. I want to be alone, bro, bro, realize, realize real quick, you being alone makes you seem like you're the murderer. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, never mind. I'll be with some people because then they're just going to suspect it's me and I'm going to be the one who gets in trouble because I'm just quiet. Yes, right. But you're still free to do as you please, you know. Just because we'll be around doesn't mean we'll be ogling you the entire time. Yeah, you can eat over there behind those trees. I'll just be out, you know, we're going to peek around every once in a while from like multiple different directions. We're going to have our own little thing going over here. Don't don't look over here. Don't do not do that. We're going to be enjoying ourselves bullshitting about the past. Uh, almost imperceptibly, he sighs out a loud, wavering breath. Whatever emotions he was experiencing just below the surface, lip back to the depths. Never mind. It wasn't important. All right, I have a hard time believing him. However, I'm simply relieved that he's finally willing to leave us. Well, since you don't have anything Not else leave to us. do now, you really ought to eat. Have you eaten? Yes. We had a meal together after you went off on your own. You have no excuse. Yep. We had a girl time. I'm not hungry. That's sort of a reason. That is not. I insist, you're, you're, it's like, okay, it's one of those where you feel bad, you feel too bad that you don't want to eat, you just need to eat. Sometimes you need to, you just don't feel that way. I resist the nagging urge to rub the bridge of my nose out of, out of frustration. I don't want to offend Lou to be forceful, I need to remember where we are. This is already a very difficult decision. Oh god, we're gonna have a choice. I can guarantee you we're about to have a choice and it's gonna piss me off. Will you at least take some food okay, there we go. with you? Oh. As Lou tends to, he wraps his arms around himself more tightly, mumbling words I can't pick out, before finally answering Fine. audibly. Good. Pull out and offer him one of my hide and sinew stitch passage. P patches, pouches, filled with dried salted meat and some sweet roots. I find that across, he, Lou finally across his arm and lowers his knees, which eases my fears of a bit about him being stiff as a statue come nightfall. As he re reaches forward, he re uh, refuses to meet my eyes, and once he uh, has had the pouch, he immediately scoots away from me. He resumes his closed off position. Margaret observes Lou with disbelief, accidentally letting out a tisk as he curls up away from me. She seems to be baffled by Lou's mood as I am. back to the forest clearing instead of staying so nearby the lake. Certainly. Fine. Lou and I trail, uh, yeah, Lou and I trail after Margaret. I consciously slow my steps to keep pace with Lou's distracted wandering as we head back into the woods. Will we get a brief talk? Like, real fucking quick. A brief, uh, after a bit of tromping through the thicket, we come into a sizable clearing. We might as well rest here. There will be plenty of time for walking come nightfall. Okay. Lou sits down wordlessly and sulks. He turns his body pointedly to the side, facing away from us. I don't like the way he is, but I, I think it's better. Um, it's treated better when we go meet the other the other person. Cause like when we went to go Margaret, she was completely d d like distested. She did not want anything to do with us at all. We didn't get anything with her at all. But at least when we got with him, we at least gave him food, and we had like an actual conversation to some extent. Margaret was completely broken down still. He seems like he's still broken down, maybe a little bit, but he's still sort of okay. I sit roughly halfway between them, attempting to form a connected group. Well, 
Marga starts but doesn't say much more. She would like to start up a conversation, but isn't sure how. Honestly, I have no idea either. The subjects I'm comfortable talk, taking the lead with are limited to say the least. Uh, comfortable silence, repair, uh, drinks the air. Even after an, even an outsider could tell the mood is in the depths, neither of us want to make it worse, and it's challenging to figure out what, that, what uh, might go over well with Lou. We don't know anything about him, but asking personal questions would almost certainly be unwelcome. Lou stares off, si uh, sighing, sighing about something. He still isn't looking at Lou. us. What? Margaret pauses. She didn't think this through, it seems. She fumbles with her words. Uh, Lou, uh, shit, uh, fuck, what's the word? Uh, question. Uh, uh. uh what's been on your mind as a place? He, he ain't gonna answer that. That's, that, that's a goddamn. Whoo! It's a big question you just asked him. That is a complex situation. I'm sorry, I had to stand up, stretch my legs. I need a stand up. I need a desk first. I would love to have a stand up desk, but I need a okay. desk. That's a goddamn lie. That's not good. If there isn't anything in there, it might blow away with the wind. No, oh, this is this is. Uh, woo! I hate small talk. That's that that's uh, that's that's on there. That's. Mm, mm. It's like people with the whole lovely weather we're having. No, no shit. I'm. I mean, I'm here with you. I can tell. Lovely. The weather's great. It's fucking great. I had someone say that to me online one time. I was like, hey, I was like, we live in the same area. I was like, you know what the fuck the weather? Well, no, it was, they said, what's the weather like? I was like, we live in the same goddamn area. The hell you mean? What the hell's the weather like? Look outside. <laughs> we live in the same area. Lou raises his eyes to give her a flat look. She laughs nervously, almost doubling over backwards from the force of one of her guffaws. I heard someone say that once. So. I jump in before silence conforms, sensing a call for backup of a different sort than yes, I'm used to. You should keep your spirits high. Being downcast is akin to a dog whistle for trouble. It only makes the situation that much worse. Or so I've heard someone say. That's true. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's just why I would just go talk to her more than Lou, even though Lou definitely could need it. Definitely, in my mind. But... The way Margaret was it in that no, she she would I wouldn't say she would die, I think all of us would die. <laughs> because of it's teamwork. We need some sort of teamwork. Um Lou is uh now we don't have that uh agreement with Lou that uh we won't keep him safe next time. So that's good too. Uh Margaret agrees with me though, still sounding a tad awkward. She gestures with her hand towards me. I've also heard that you breathe out a small piece of your soul with each sigh. So it's even more tragic. <laughs> Lou finally begins to smirk a little. Making those up. Margaret seems encouraged by his sh mood shift. I haven't made anything up yet, but I'm positive that I could, and you'd be none the wiser. It can be quite ridiculous. Sayings from certain people, man. They'd be like, "What the fuck did I just hear?" His half smirk grows to a full, and he sits himself into a more upright position to be better engaged with the two of us. Yes, Margaret. Yeah, man. Woo. This is why I love this girl. Not not that she's my type or anything, but that too. That. Don't question that. <laughs> don't, don't question that. Alright, as Lou slowly begins to uncoil from within himself, I can't open but smile. Finally, finally, the mood is starting to lift. We've all been lost in a head, haze in the mind for too long. And then watch the guy's gonna be like, go to sleep. Cause tomorrow cause we about to wake up for tomorrow. And I'm gonna be like, ah. Are there any peculiar sayings that you've heard of? None that are comparable to yours. <laughs> he appears to be disappointed, though not surprised that he could not offer an additional of his own to the then topic. you have heard some. I'd like you to share them, especially if they're different. I could use some better sayings. The ones I have aren't so impressive as you've learned. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to make me lose my soul? I wouldn't blame you. Not the size. <laughs> wow. I wish I knew how to amuse Lou as much as he seems to entertain himself, despite his jokes always needing to be self-mocking. Refusing to let the mood crumble, Margaret pulls, uh, pull, puts on a pleasant face and tries to move past Lou's comment. Yeah, but no, it's, 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 it's Not hard. Not at all. I'm only curious. It's hard to deal with someone when they're in that state where you, you just joke about it and you're like, it's not a joking matter. Don't joke about it. I need you to feel good about yourself. But you're like, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, uh-huh. You act as if he didn't say that. No matter the journey you take, it will always end where it began. I hear that one often. 
That's not a bad one. And I actually like that. No matter the journey. Yeah, that's true to some extent, too. Margaret smiles, pleased with his participation. That's an interesting one. Much better than the one that says, you'll have one unfortunate incident for every curl in your hair. <laughs> Margaret, goddamn, you have, you have some bad situations ahead of you. Really? <laughs> You're fine. Look at Margaret's hair. Talk about every curl in her hair, goddamn. This girl gonna die. Lou looks over her, confused and slightly wary. No, I did make that one up. Lou laughs. He starts to open up and share some of the other sayings he's heard. Although his stream of chatter, Margaret, catches my attention, she looks into my eyes and mouths the word, thank you. I catch Margaret's eyes and we spend a moment sharing a gentle connection. For a brief moment, all of, uh, all of the troublesome seconds that seem to float away, enjoy each other's company. And I wasn't like a fawn gaze. It was to some extent, but it was more of a, like a connection like, yeah, no problem. We did it. I wish it could go on for so much longer, but it's uh, not long to, till that we, uh, after that I have to speak up. We should make our way to the meeting point now. <laughs> it's like the, the, the adult in the group. All right. All right. I, I gotta, I gotta do it. I, got, I don't want to pull the plug, but I got, I got, all right. Guys, I'm sorry, but we have to, we have to get ready to go. Margaret nods in agreement, Lou shrugs. At least we all had a moment. I lead us over to the area where the guy mentioned where we're going to meet. All right, so I'm in this gigantic ass recording. I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna split this up. So this definitely means every single one of these I'm gonna try to do in like part, like two parts. So I'm gonna do one run through. This one's already different, hella different than the beginning one. So we're gonna do some of the outlandish ones, even though I said I was gonna do the other way. We're gonna do the outlandish ones first. Then we're gonna do the ones that are more similar to uh, a couple of the endings and see if some of the smaller choices have a huge meaning. Like, um, uh, like, well, like, like I said earlier, when uh, if we get here without Lou, we, and we still have Emily alive and everything, if we go talk to, uh, if we talk to Margaret again and we don't give her the fond look, um, and then if we go do, uh, what's called, if before that we don't show affection to Bimele and we give her the fond look and we focus on just flirting with her. Or if we give Bimele affection and then when we get here, instead of talking to Margaret, we talk to Bimele and do the fine, uh, it's like, you know, have more of a flirt flirtation, th flirtatious thing going on with him. Or take even just a business professional approach and we don't flirt with Bimele or Margaret, but we still talk to Margaret. Or we talk to Bimele. The guide is also an option, but I, I don't know how big of a change that would do. So that is also another one, um, that definitely probably needs to be also stated. That could be a good one to talk to. Oh, that's four choices, not including Lou, which makes five. If you have Lou here, but if you have Lou here, I'm thinking there's no way you make it with. You either lose Margaret or you lose Bimele. And before that. Um, there's probably a choice that'll keep you alive or might kill you and er the four group, uh, the other three will be alive. The guide and, uh, Margaret and Bimele, which is him leaving, uh, on the way there. So, you know, there's a, there's a good amount of, uh, ideas there. I don't, I don't know. Margaret and I sit together. She lightly rests her head against my shoulder. I must go to the next line. The three of us quietly wait for the guide's arrival, occasionally chatting with one another as we rest. All right. We're going to save it off here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, we'll do this session again sometime. I don't know how the hell I edited this, by the way. You guys might see this more than those part twos that I was talking about. If you did, I'm sorry. I didn't expect it to be as long as it did. And I thought I could auto my way through it, but no. Nah. And I wanted to give you guys the new experiences for the new uh, choices and see what they did. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button if you guys are new to the channel. Click that subscribe button to me don't mean another video. If you guys wish to be notified when I upload, click that notification bell so you guys can be notified in your email and on YouTube when I upload. Other than that, hopefully you all have a great day. And I will catch you homies next low tide.